So I wanted to serve in the Army for at least 22 years. That was my goal for retirement. Um, unfortunately, it got cut short, three and a half in, but I needed a way to continue to serve. 41-year-old Christy Gardner, a former military police officer in the U.S. Army, was injured while serving in 2006. This double amputee was paired with a service dog named Moxie. And she was trained for seizure alert response and mobility assistance. Now with her new service dog, Doug, by her side, Gardner breeds and trains other service dogs at her nonprofit called Mission Working Dogs. What they're learning right now is actually carrying the groceries and fetching items you need. If you drop anything, they immediately pick it up and hand it back, even if it's their leash. Gardner trains dogs for others in need, not just veterans, and each dog she breeds is given a patriotic name. We serve to train PTSD service dogs and or uh, mobility assistance service dogs. Not all canines make great service dogs. However, Gardner says it's the golden retrievers and the Labradors that have the perfect temperament to be service animals. They're called people pleasers. They love to work. They love to make you happy. Uh, they love to be right by your side. Gardner has an army of 64 volunteers that assist her, including her mom, Norma. When she told me she was doing something, I never envisioned it to be this. I mean, this is huge, and I'm so proud of her. Gardner's first litter of dogs will be handed over to their new owners this October at the training facility. So they'll stay here, and they'll learn to bond with the dog. They'll learn the language and the skills that the dog knows. And then they'll eventually take their public access test together and their skills tests together to prove that they're a cohesive team. Gardner says this much anticipated get together is sure to produce lots of smiles and wagging tails. In Oxford, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.